and welcome to Bottoms Down, Chair Yoga for Everyone, the slow and short series. I'm Carol. I'm so glad you've joined us today. In this series, we'll move our bodies a little more slowly and the classes will last less than 30 minutes. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. Don't forget it's free and would love to hear from you, so leave me a comment. In today's practice, we'll explore poses for a deeper stretch. You'll only need a chair for today's class, and let's get started. So we're gonna move forward in our chair and make sure that we are grounding our feet to the earth. So I want you to feel your feet connected to the earth. Same thing with our sits bones. Let's make sure that they're equally weighted on that chair. We're gonna flip our palms up to the ceiling and then close your eyes. Or if you prefer, you can just look down at your lap, but don't let your head fall, right? Just your eyes. So beginning to feel that connection to our breath. Focusing in on your natural inhalation and exhalation. We're going to inhale to four counts and exhale to five. Something like this. Inhale two, three, four. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four. Exhale two, three, four, five. And breathe normally. Bring your hands to your heart. Set your intentions for today's practice. Focusing in on what you want to accomplish. One more breath. Bring your hands back down to your thighs and open your eyes. And let's roll our shoulders. So we're just kind of a forward and up and back and down. Let's do that again. Forward and up. Back, squeeze those shoulder blades and down. Okay, let's reverse those shoulder rolls. We're going back first and then up and then forward and down. Do that one more time. This should feel really good. All right, excellent work. Let's bring our hands to our heart. So I want you to think about lifting through the spine and opening up through the throat. So it's just a little opening here. I'm not looking way up at the ceiling, but just kind of out at a diagonal, feeling that openness through the throat. You feel that? Belly stays super tight here. Now, I'm going to bring my hands to the back of my chair. Maintaining that open throat, I'm just going to pull my shoulders back just a little bit. So this is a version of cow pose. Okay, so now we're going to move into a version of cat pose. So I'm going to bring my hands around, thighs are on, hands are on the thighs, elbows are wide, tucking my chin, and I want you to really let the head fall. Try not to hold that head up. So don't be looking at me. Be looking down at your lap. Let's do that again. So all we're going to do is we're going to open up through that throat, feel your belly tight, lift up through the heart, open up, grab the back of your chair, squeeze just a little bit here. And then let's do that cat pose again. Hands on the thighs, round the shoulders, tuck the chin. Now look, remember, you're looking down at your lap. You're not looking up. No wrinkles in the neck. One more breath. 
and release. So just come back up into a seated position. Does that feel pretty good, right? So we're warming up into the spine. Okay, we're going to move into extended mountain pose. Now, if having your hands all the way to the ceiling is uncomfortable, you're going to leave your elbows bent a little, and that might feel better on your shoulders, okay? But if you're with me, we're going to go all the way up to the ceiling. But the minute my fingertips go to the ceiling, what tends to happen is my shoulders tend to go up too. Let's not do that. Let's bring those shoulders down. Palms together, interlace your fingers with your pointer finger up to the ceiling. Do you see what I'm doing there? I've interlaced my fingers, but my pointer finger is up. Okay, I'm going to lean just a little bit. So as I'm leaning my mountain, I'm concentrating on keeping this opposite hip down on the chair. Now we're going to come up and we're going to lean the other way. So again, con concentrating on keeping this side down. Okay, let's come up and bring our hands down and just take a little break. We're going to add one more thing to that series. Okay, let's come back to extended mountain. Hands to ceiling, interlace. Uh, palms together, interlace fingers, pointer finger is up, shoulders are down. We're going to lean our mountain. Now all I want you to do is turn and look up at the ceiling. Take the twist out, fingertips to the ceiling, lean the other way. Twist, look up at the ceiling. Take the twist out, fingertips back to the ceiling, bring the hands down, and let's roll those shoulders again. What do you say? Feels good, doesn't it? And reverse it. All right, very, very good. Okay. Let's come up into go post arms. You may hear me call this goddess arms. It's the same position. I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to bring it across. And I'm going to touch the palm of that other hand. And then I'm going to bring that palm open. And then I'm going to bring the other side across. So do you feel the action? happening at your ribs and let's open it and let's do that again bring that arm across so my knees are staying forward let's open my hips are staying forward the action is happening right at the ribs open it up now Let's bring our arms down, take just a little break. We're going to do that again with outstretched arms. So instead of bending the elbow, we're going to come out. You can keep the elbows bent, that is fine. Otherwise, you're with me. Let's bring that arm across, keep those knees forward, open it up. Let's bring the other side across. Quite a stretch, isn't it, for the center of the body? Open it up. Bring the hands down. And release. Ha! Ah, let's grab a sip of water. We are going to move into gate pose. So we're going to slide our hips to the right side of the chair. You can hold on right here. 
Extend your right leg out to the side. Keep your left foot grounded to the earth. The right foot is up on the, its side, so you're not pointing your toe out. You're turning so that you're on the side of the foot. If this is a lot of pressure on your knee, just bend the knee a little bit. It's fine. We're going to take the hand of the leg that's extended and take it up towards the ceiling. I'm going to bend my supporting elbow and lean. Do you feel your side waist stretching? It should feel really good. Now we're going to come down. This hand is going to stay on your leg. You're going to let go of the chair if that's okay. Extend that arm up to the ceiling and then lean. As you lean, this hand will slide down your extended leg. Let's come up, place your hand on the chair, and do it again. Lengthen, fingertips to the ceiling. Remember, you can always leave the elbow bent. Bend this supporting elbow as you lean and feel the stretch in the side waist. Let's come up again. Opposite arm extends to the ceiling and lean. And come up, hold the chair, bring this leg in and move to the center of your chair and take just a little break. Okay, are we ready for the other side? Let's move to the left side of our chair. Extend your left leg out to the side. Make sure this foot is grounded to the earth and your hip is grounded to the chair for stability. Make sure you're on the side of that foot so my, I'm not pointing my toe, right? I'm on the side of my foot. So you should feel this outer thigh. Bend your knee if you want. We're going to lift that arm up to the ceiling. Bend your supporting elbow and lean. Come up, opposite arm extends, and lean. This hand slides down that leg. Come up, we're going to do it again. Ready? Here we go. Extending the left arm to the ceiling, leaning that gate pose. Up we go. Opposite arm extends. And lean. Up we go. Come back to the center of your chair. All right, checking in. How's that feel? A little stretch for the side waist. You probably felt it on the inner and outer thighs, right? So now we're going to focus a little bit on the upper body. This is called cow face pose. Don't know why. That's just what its name is. Take your right arm and we're going to extend it out. Palm is facing back. 
So I'm just going to bend this elbow. See, I'm just bending that elbow. So we're going to bend the elbow and we're going to put it behind our back. Think about lifting up, right? Keeping the chest lifted so we're not letting ourselves sink down. We're staying nice and tall. Now the other hand, we're going to have its palm facing forward. Same idea, you're going to bend at the elbow. Do you see what I'm doing there? Bend at the elbow. And then you're going to bring that hand and place it in the middle of the back. Okay, so the idea here is you're lifting up and you should feel quite a stretch, not only through the chest, but also in those arms. Do you feel that? Make sure you're lifting up through the heart. One more breath here. Let's release that and just do a little shoulder roll here to kind of release any tension. Is that a little intense? It can be a quite an, ex an intense stretch. So do what works, right? Maybe you do one arm and not the other, or just take your time, or maybe you leave out the whole thing. It's okay, too. But let's do the other side. So I'm going to extend my left arm out. Now, this time that palm is facing back. Remember how we could just bend that elbow, right? Okay. So let's bend that elbow and we're going to put that hand in the small of our back. I feel the stretch already. I don't know about you. Right? Remember, we want to stay lifted through the heart. So let's do the other arm. So now that palm is going to face forward. So again, bending the elbow and lengthen it and bend the elbow and lengthen it. All right, are we ready? We're going to bend the elbow and we're going to place that hand in the upper back. Make sure you lift nice and tall. Are you feeling your arms stretching, the chest stretching? It's crazy. Just this, this little bit of movement here and how much stretch I feel personally. Okay, one more breath. Let's release those arms. Ha! Ah, grab a sip of water. So we're going to move forward in our chair. And then take a little, just a heel and a toe of those feet. Just a little bit wider than hip distance. So we're going to move into a seated forward fold by simply beginning to hinge at the hips. Let's put our, our arms, palms facing up, on the legs here for some support. Now just begin to let the upper body fall forward, but we're not going to tuck our chin. We're just going to keep our back flat and feel the back stretch. So the lower back is getting the majority of the stretch here. I feel a little bit into the upper back, but keeping the back flat will keep most of the stretch into the lower back. And that's what I want you to feel for this one. We have one more breath. Okay, we're just gonna roll up slowly here. Take a moment. We're going to do that again. Okay, so just take a moment here. So we're going to begin to let that heart fall forward. Remember, you're going to put your arms on those legs, palms facing up for a little support. So I'm lifting nice and long through my spine. I still want a long spine and I'm going to let my heart begin to fall forward. So really extending long through the spine as I let my heart fall forward, feeling the stretch in the back. One more breath here. 
And let's go ahead and roll it up slowly. Good. We're going to heel toe our feet back in to where they're hip distance apart. Take your right hand and place it on the outside of that opposite knee. Your other hand is going to go on the seat of the chair. I want you to bring that elbow back, turn, and look over that shoulder. Okay, let's release that. And then we're going to go the other direction. This hand is going to go on the outside of that knee. Opposite hand on the chair. Bring the shoulder back. Turn and look over that shoulder. One more breath and face forward. Okay. So you can keep doing that again. If you want a little bit more, I'm going to take my right leg and I'm going to cross it over my left. Now I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to bring it on the outside of that knee. Opposite hand is going to come to the chair behind me. Lengthen through the spine. Now if you want, you can pull a little bit, press into that leg as you twist, pull this shoulder back, press, and you might get a little deeper twist. A little deeper stretch into the side waist. One more breath. And face forward. And let's do the other side. So I'm going to bring that leg down and cross the other leg on top. Opposite arm comes to that knee, uh, the other hand back by the chair. Lift, pull the shoulder back, twist, and I'm pressing against the leg a little bit just for a little more stretch. One more breath and face forward. Okay. So we're going to move into seated pigeon. You can stay here with this knee like this, or you can cross with the ankle in front of that knee. Lengthen through the spine and begin to just let the heart come forward. Super gentle. Are you feeling the stretch here in your hip and glute? I am. Let's come up. And then we're just going to flutter the butterfly wing here. So just move that knee up and down a little bit. And we're going to do that again. Lengthen nice and long through the spine. And maybe you let the heart fall forward. The other thing you can do is press gently on this leg if you want. Just another way to get a little deeper stretch. One more breath. All right. Let's unravel that leg. And we're going to go to the other side. So remember, you can be here if that feels better for you. Or you can bring that ankle on top of that opposite leg. Your choice. Oh, we're just hanging out here for a couple of breaths first. And then if you want a little more, extending nice and long through the spine and beginning to let the heart fall forward. So super gentle though. All right, let's come up and move that up and down just a smidge. And then let's do that again. Don't forget to lengthen first through the spine. Keep a nice long spine. Then begin to let the heart fall forward. And if you want to press gently on this leg, you can. You should be feeling that hip and glute pretty substantially. I do. One more breath. Okay, let's go ahead and unravel that leg. 
We're going to sit back in our chair. Place your hands lightly on your thighs. Flip the palms up to the ceiling. Now, if you don't want to close your eyes, just simply let your eyes fall down towards the, the, your lap, not your head, just your eyes, or close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Daily Surprises Life is full of surprises, and you are particularly skilled at noticing those surprising new developments in your environment. Treasure and appreciate your fascination with novelty, for there are times when it can keep you alive and out of danger. But don't let yourself become so consumed with the daily surprises that it interferes with the good work you can do. Just because something is new or newsworthy doesn't necessarily make it worthy of your sustained attention. That attention is a valuable resource, something it's best not to squander. You're going to notice most of the surprises, yet that doesn't mean they have to distract you from what you are doing or thinking or saying. Make note of what's new, of what's changed, of what's different than it was. Then recommit yourself to following through on all you had already intended to do. Let life continue to deliver its many surprises, but don't let those surprises prevent you from living the life you have chosen to live. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. A deep breath in. And on this exhalation, open your eyes. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach up with your right hand. Give the head a gentle tug pressing the other hand down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. Reach up with your hands. Give the head a gentle tug. Release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Reach up with the left hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that opposite hand down towards the floor. Release it. Look up just slightly. Open your mouth if you want to stretch your jaw. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste. Thank you so much for joining today. If you haven't already, click on that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Leave me a comment and I will see you next time.